Hi, Story Hour friends. Back when we had Story Hour at the library, one fall I did Miss Rita's favorites. So every week I would do a different author that I loved. And the first one was Eric Carle. And so in memory of this great author and illustrator, I'm reading 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carle. 10 Little Rubber Ducks. Chuggity, chuggity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted, bills red and eyes blue. Then they are packed, ten to a box, and off they go. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to far away countries, to far away countries. Suddenly a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. Let's see if you know what some of these animals are. The first little rubber duck drifts west, a dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. An octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The next morning, the 10th little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Let's count the ducklings. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Who do you think is going to be number 10? At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Are there 10 of them now? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good night, says the moon. 
quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. If you liked that story, you can check out The Very Hungry Caterpillar, or The Very Quiet Cricket, or The Very Lonely Firefly. There are tons of Eric Carle books, and it's almost summer reading. I'll see you next time, friends.